So these are the paper packs and the floral design comes with, all of them come with four sheets of each pattern. So it has a leafy pattern. It has a beautiful rose background. And I love this old fashioned damask. And then here is a, what, a more petite rose pattern with blossoms in the background. Here is a flourish. I love this pattern. I have a stamp with unity with this pattern and it is stunning. So I knew I needed to make it in the paper pack. And then here is some little dogwood flowers. So you get four of each design in here. And it is, these are all made in the USA and they're on a nice quality cardstock. Perfect for card making and projects. And then I have the geometric pack. So it has the double wedding ring quilt pattern. It has a mermaid pattern. The diamonds. I love these because they, they're big and they go very small. So I love that look. Circles and circles. a fence pattern, and just a crazy different kind of circles, more modern background. So again, these come four sheets, six designs for 24 to a pack. And then I have the toner paper. And that's what I want to show you. I want to show you, I'm not doing a project today, but I'm going to show you how all of this works. Now, you can totally color these with markers or color pencils. I have one here. I foiled it with silver. And these lines on here are real faint. Well, I guess I did it in gold. The lines on here are real faint, but where they're bolder, you can really see that foil. And then I just started coloring with some watercolors in here. I just wanted to show you that you can color these and then foil them, or you can foil them and then color. Either way, it works. Here is the same pattern that I created into a card. And this is the one that has the silver. And you can see it depending upon which way or which angle you have it at. But these backgrounds make beautiful cards so quick and easy. And I also have a package of 61 pre-cut die-cut sentiments. On the back here, it shows you some of them, but let me pour them out here for you. So they're all die-cut, so they're ready to use. And some of these you can foil if you want. The smaller ones, because the lines are so fine, they don't take to the foil quite as well. But there's all different shapes and sizes and sentiments. There's happy birthday, I love you, thank you, thinking of you, get well soon, congratulations. There's for every occasion sentiments in here. And this makes it quick and easy to match with the papers to make cards so quickly. So I want to show you how, I know Lisa showed you earlier today how to foil. 
I just want to show you how easy it is. And I have my laminator here. And mine is a hot and cold laminator, so I always have to remember to turn it on hot. And I use a piece of, you can use parchment paper or copy paper as a carrier sheet. And let's do this fun circle pattern. And I'm going to do it with Decofoil has so many, I think they have over 40 different kinds of foil. So they have shattered glass, they have multicolored, they have solid colors. So you want to check those out. They have so many and they work perfectly with these. So I just put my cardstock down and then I put my foil. I cut it just a titch small right there. My foil on top. And then you put the folded side side into the laminator. And you run it through. I always run it through twice. It just I know it works if you run it through once, but when I do it twice, they always turn out wonderful. So it takes about 30 seconds for it to go through. Every laminator is different, but this is a Royal Sovereign laminator. I know you can get it on Amazon. Lisa has, a, I think, a Scotch brand one that she got at Walmart, and they're like $20, $30, so they're not that expensive. And once you try it, you are going to love it because it really makes your cards pop. So here's a card I created with the leafy background. And I just put the sentiment on here and I layered it. And I did the opposite. I took the negative and put on the toner paper to create that so it matches. And then here is the negative on the toner paper. So you could get two completely different looks from one piece of foil by using the paper and the toner sheet. And this one I did take and run the sentiment through. But I wasn't sure if I liked the green. I think I would have liked the black better. So think about that. And now this is the fun part. So you get to do the reveal and I just love this. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. How fun would this be for a card? For a birthday card or a thinking of you card? Just cheer someone up. This is such a fun pattern. Now you can take this negative and use it with the toner paper. But I always like to put just the foil in my carrier sheet because sometimes after it has come off the cardstock sometimes it looks a bit wrinkly to me and to get the best impression I like to run it through the laminator to make it perfectly flat again I'm still trying to see your comments here but it is not making it fun. Oh, now I can see them. Hi, Mitziana. These are fun. So I run just the foil through the laminator. Sometimes I get impatient and I'm just waiting for it to come out. And by doing that, it makes it so flat. 
right there. I'm going to run it through the other way too. Even though it's flat, it looks like it has a couple little wrinkles and I want to put it on my toner paper as flat as it can be. I do have some examples of when I haven't done put it through. Like here's the circle one, the double circles, and that's fun. But I didn't put the foil through and even this, I don't even mind. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's kind of distressed and I could see using that on a man's card or something. So it just depends upon the look you're going for. These are just fun and just a quick way to make a card. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this negative and put it on my toner paper. And then run it through the laminator. Thank you, Rebecca. Yes, I think the foiling just adds a lot when you're doing it on the papers. And that's why for the paper line, I did everything in black and white so that you would be able to foil them or color them however you wanted. It does make it fun. Thank you, Elaine. Hi, Laura Kelly. Thanks for joining in. Okay, so again, I'm gonna run this through twice just because that's what I like to do. Now I'm gonna show you a couple more cards. Here is a card where this is the negative and this is on the cardstock. And this is that same priceless, when, when I ran this through with the foil, I had the foil left with the priceless and I ran it through on some of the toner paper and then I just die cut it. So you can get two looks out of the sentiments too if you foil them. But again, like I said, some of those little tiny words are so fine, they don't come through quite as well. Okay, so because this didn't fit on here perfectly and this is toner paper, that's why it's stuck to the carrier sheet. Just so you know why it did. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Now, isn't that stunning? And when you run that foil through with just the carrier sheet, it helps to prevent those little cracks or imperfections. But that is so pretty. So you get two looks with one piece of the foil for two totally different looking cards. And when you do that, see you're, you're not wasting any of the foil. It uses all the foil, which is awesome. So that's, and then here I wanna show you another card. So this card used the rose paper and this is the negative of that. So it's just a slimline card and then I had enough of the negative to put inside here. So you get two cards. If you're doing the foiling, you always get two cards. And I'm just gonna show you some more designs to show you how different they look. 
So this is the cardstock, and this is the toner paper. And this is gold shattered glass. Isn't that fun? It's just so much fun. I mean, foiling is awesome all by itself. Yes, Laura, I always save the negative, so that's why I did the toner paper, so that it could be used. And then here's the funky circles again, and here, this one, I didn't flatten that out, and I got those couple little lines, but you can still use it because you can, that's where you can put your sentiment, And then here's that rainbow again in the paper and then on the negative. They are so shiny. And yes, I do. I love the rainbow. I love the shattered glass. I guess I just love all foiling. Now this is a blue so this is the paper and then this is the negative. So aren't those fun? I mean, you can do so much with these. Lisa, I'll put the link in here for you if you want to check the papers out. Here's the mermaid in the rainbow again. I guess I used the rainbow a lot. So here's the cardstock and then here's the negative on the toner paper. So it just depends what kind of look you're going for, but both are beautiful. Here's the double wedding ring on the paper and the toner paper. And I do black in a lot of my cards, so I really like that there's so much black showing on this one. And then here's the roses in copper. And then that's what it looks like with the negative. It gives you the outline of the flowers. Again, the rainbow, but this is the rainbow shattered glass. So that has a different look to it. But they're both beautiful. And it, like I said, depends what you're going for. Now here's the smaller roses with the little flowers. And this one, because, right, let me see, goes this way. These are such fine lines. It did pick up the foil on the paper, but it didn't pick it up as much on the toner paper. So this is probably the one that I might not use the toner paper on, but I had to see what it looked like. But this is also the same one where I did the coloring for the card. And this is shattered glass in gold. And there it is on the toner paper. So two totally different looks every time. They're just fun. Here's the flourish, one of my favorite patterns. And there it is on the toner paper. So you're not wasting any of your foil. I save all my foil until it is almost this clear because you can always use those bits and pieces. And this one, I think, is um, the gold shattered glass. But they are, they're simply beautiful. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. I just wanted to share with you that with these papers, you can foil them, cut them, like this is on the toner paper, and I just die cut this out with a stitch die, and I layered it and used one of the sentiments to create that card. And really, you can make dozens of cards really quickly and easily with these papers, foil, and the sentiments. So I just want to remind all of you that 
if you like, share, and comment, you'll be entered in for the, we're doing two $25 giveaways for the shop. And then you can get these papers. So you want to like, share, and comment so you can enter the giveaway and we'll announce the winner next week, the two winners. Lisa will announce one on her live and I will announce one on my live. And um, I hope you like these. These um, We'll be using these in some of the upcoming lives with different products from different manufacturers. But like I said, to use these, deco foil works the best for the foiling. But if you don't want to foil at all, you can always, this one is foiled, but you can just color with markers, watercolors, color pencils. It doesn't, I, I don't do a ton of the detailed coloring and I'm not an expert by any means, but I was able to blend the colors nicely. I used um, some watercolors on these or um, you can use chalk pencils and Gamsol. So either way, they're fun and quick and easy to use. How do I store my foil pieces? Okay, so DecoFoil has them come in these containers. And I will take all my bits and pieces and wrap them up and stick them in one container with an assortment. And then I have a box, actually. I have a drawer that fits in one of my cabinets. And I keep them all in there. Because these do, I used to have these hanging in my studio, but they take up less room, all compacted in this box. And these foils come with five sheets and I think they're 12 by six inches. So as I'm using them and as I have leftovers, like I said, I will wrap all of the leftovers up and put in one of the empty tubes. And I just kind of mark it so I know it's bits and pieces. And I'll go through that and pull that out. But when I have little tiny, tiny pieces, For my super little pieces, I have another drawer that I that I put them in. So if I need just a tiny bit of foil, and then that way they're quick and easy to get at. That was a good question, Laura, because it's always nice to see how other people store their supplies. So I'm just going to check and see if there's any other questions. The funky circles designs on the teal is pretty. Yes, Rebecca. I thought it was. I gravitate toward the rainbow a lot and gold. But some of these, um, they have so many colors in these foils and they're all beautiful. So that's it for today. This was a quick and easy live. I just wanted to share my new papers with everybody and show you how to foil them. We will um, be sharing lots with the papers and different designs. Lisa today did a fabulous journal that she created with these. So I hope you like them and I will see you next time. Next week, we will be back with two more lives, noon and two o'clock central time. So until then, have fun and be creative. Bye, everyone.